Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is garbage collection in Java and what are the advantages and disadvantages of automatic garbage collection in Java. Garbage collection is a method of automatic memory management. It works as follows. When an application uh, needs uh, a free space to allocate uh, to the new objects, first it will scan the entire memory. If the free space is available, then the free space will be allocated to that particular object. Otherwise, a garbage collector will be called. That is, whenever you create an object initially, a memory will be allocated to that particular object. And if you go on creating the new objects again and again, a free space will be allocated to the, those particular objects. And after some time, it may happen that there will be a shortage of memory in your system. And if you want to create a new object and there is no memory in the system, you cannot allocate or you cannot create a, a new object in such situation. So what uh, the Java does is it will call something called as a garbage collector, which will try to search for what we can say that the nodes which are no longer accessible or which are not required for that particular application. If a particular uh, node or an object is not required, that particular object will be removed from the system and then the free sp the space will be added to the available pool or you can say that the free space and whenever you try to create a new object you can assign the, that particular memory to the new object in this case this is a very simple uh, process followed in automatic garbage collection in java here the garbage collection uh, is done usually in two phases. The first one is called as a marking phase and second one is called as collection phase. In marking phase, the garbage collector scans the entire system and marks all the nodes that are accessible using the external pointer. If they are accessible, they will be considered as true. If they are not accessible, they will be considered as false in this case. In the collection phase, all those particular uh, uh, nodes or the objects which are not accessible, they will be removed from the system so that you can create a free space and the free space can be allocated to the new objects in this case. The marking phase, as I said earlier, has something called as a mark field. Whenever uh, the system scans the entire uh, memory and it finds that some of the objects are accessible, they will be marked as true. If a particular object is not accessible, that will be marked as a false in this case. So this is how actually it looks like. So if a particular object is accessible, it will be marked as true. If it is not accessible, it will be marked as false in this case. Now in the collection phase, what happens is, if all those particular nodes or the objects which are marked as false in the marking phase will be removed. This is what is called as uh, sweeping or it is also called as thrashing sometimes. So the objects which are marked as false, that is nothing but the objects which are not accessible will be removed from the system so that we will get a free space and we can create a new object in this case. Now we will see what are the advantages of uh, garbage collection. The manual memory management uh, done by other programming languages like uh, C or other uh, with the help of uh, malloc and free is uh, time consuming and error prone because uh, we have to have uh, separate uh, we can say that uh, uh, methods to create those particular the manual memory management done by program other programming languages like c and other uh, we use uh, malloc and uh, free uh, methods in such case uh, The manual memory management done by other programming languages use uh, malloc, free, realloc, such kind of uh, inbuilt methods. They are time consuming and error prone because we have to write our own statements uh, to allocate the memory, to free the memory and so on. As well as uh, if you make a small mistake also, the entire program may go into what you can say that uh, erroneous and you may not get the proper output in that case. So it is better to have an automatic memory management that is done by uh, the Java. It is uh, fast as well as uh, there is a least possibility of errors in this case. 
the reusability of memory can be achieved with the help of garbage collection uh, efficiently we can say if it is uh, done manually it is a bit difficult to uh, free up the space which is not being used in the program the disadvantages of uh, automatic garbage collection is uh, whenever uh, you try to create an object and the memory is not available in such situation automatic garbage collection will be called unless and until the automatic garbage collection completes its execution the entire program will be paused or you can say that they stopped in that case sometimes uh, the situation like thrashing may occur due to the garbage collection thrashing is a situation where uh, we will remove an object from the system and after removing uh, that particular object it may happen that the same object may be needed in the future so we'll create that particular object again because the memory is not available we may remove the same object again and it may be recreated again the same thing may happen again and again that is what is called as thrashing in this case so this is another uh, uh, disadvantage of using automatic garbage collection so in this video i have discussed what is garbage collection what are the different uh, stages in garbage collection what are the advantages and disadvantages of automatic garbage collection in java i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching